Hello everyone, welcome back to Overcare Time Masterclass. My name is Dario, and the last part we tackled the water temple and was moderately successful at it. What the hell is that? Anyways, um, this part, uh, we're gonna be heading on over to the next dungeon as we usually do. Um, why am I running? I could just teleport. Now, I'm kind of at a crossroads of how to do this, because, like, I could do the thing, the thing that a lot of people, you know, a lot of Let's Players do, and pretend, you know, I don't know where to go. You know, like, you know, like, oh, you know, where's our journey taking to us this time? You know, like, I, 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 honestly, I do know what to do. I know where I'm supposed to go now. But, like, now that I'm telling you my plan, like, maybe I should just, like, just do it. Yeah, I probably will. Okay. Um, so, we're gonna... Oh, wait. No? Okay. Okay, how the hell did this song go? That's how it goes, isn't it? Okay. Okay, no, 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 no I'm gonna sit here until I get it. Nope. That's how it goes. What the hell? Okay. Wait a second. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm so dumb. That's what I forgot to do. All those videos ago. I totally forgot to go back to Sheik and learn the Prelude of Light. So, we're gonna have to walk it. And I just teleported from my horse. Anyways, um, Link! Link! Get on the horse, Link! There we go, okay. Anyways, I'll just see you guys over there. You know. So I can't believe this. I told myself not to do this, like, and I ended up doing it. I just completely forgot. After you do the forest temple, if you you're supposed to come back here, and this cutscene happens. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. Yeah, that time already came, and it passed, and I forgot, so it's my fault. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. So I was playing it right, damn it, I knew it. You have learned the Prelude of Light. As long as you hold the Orcring of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. Yeah. Whoa, shit, the hell? What kind of Deku nut was that? Anyways, yeah, I was totally supposed to do that after the Forest Temple, but I completely forgot. 
And it kind of doesn't make sense at this point, because, like, I've already been through, like, three, like, temples, and Sheik's talking to me like, oh, I just, like, destroyed the forest temple, so, anyways. Not that big of a deal, but, you know, it's, <laughs> it's just weird how I always, like, every time I play this game, I always completely forget to, to do it. But, and that's just no, another thing to note to weird, or, another thing that's weird to note. Um, oh, wait, that's my phone. Dang it. Another thing that's weird to note is um how the pedestal of time like like it doesn't have like a slot for the sword in it so like I guess like Link is stabbing it so hard it's going through the stone and like keeping it there cuz look there's no whatever I don't know it just looks kind of weird anyways something else you can do that's fun is um Just wait. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Hold on. Let me do that again. Uh, we'll do the ball of fire this time. So yeah, instead of playing the normal, like, you know, theme that plays when you go back in time, it, you know, the, one of the Ocarina songs, like, overrides it. I actually learned that from my brother. I don't know where he got it from, though, but, I don't know, I just do it sometimes, because it is kind of amusing to watch. Um, so anyways, we're back as a kid again. We have our little legs and our little head and all that fun stuff. Um, now... I think the way you'd figure this out is, um, you'd have to, wait, wait a second. Crap, I hope, hope I can do it, but I think the way you'd figure this out is that, um, oh god damn it, it's, hold up, do this, go back out, there we go, anyways. I think the way you'd figure this out is that you go to uh, Kakariko Village, go into the well, and realize that you can't, like, do anything. Like, you can't, like, um, what am I trying to say here? You can't proceed through the next dun little dungeon we're about to go through because you're too big, so you would have to go back and become a kid. So I think that's normally how you're supposed to do it, but instead of wasting everyone's time, like, I know what to do and how to do it. And did I just bring... Did I just bring a chicken back, like, through time? I think I did, but... Um... It's weird. Anyways, heading up to Kakaroka Village. And... Let's see... I can't remember if I already did this. I don't think I did. Like, that's the problem when you take forever to beat a game, is that you forget things you've done. Uh, I don't think I have. We'll take a look. Flink hurries up. I'm going as slow as molasses here. No, he doesn't. Okay. So, if we go over here, and if anyone remembers way back when... Months ago, when I learned the Song of Storms, like, you know, he said that some kid came and taught it to him and it drove him crazy. So we're going to be assholes and do that, basically. So, somehow that drains the well. Your guess is as good as mine, how? See what he says. Go around, go around, go around! What? It's going way too fast! 
And this event proceeds to ruin his life by making him crazy and you know such, so good job, Link. So before we go down to the well though, because how are we already at ten minutes? Oh my goodness. Time just literally flies by. Well, especially more in this case, because we did go through time. Um I'm not gonna go into the dungeon quite yet, just because we're gonna head in there and then have to stop in the middle of it, and I really don't feel like doing that. Um, if... See, I think we could do this. Be quiet. It's only 3.51 in the morning. Or afternoon, I guess. Um, uh... We interacted with Dompe as an adult, but we never did it as a kid, so... If we do, we can interact with him this time by... I think he's going to be walking around. Somewhere. Hello. Dompe. Where are you? For real, where the hell is he? Oh, well, it's Skultala. God damn it. It's only zero. Wait, what? The grave digging tour is over. Is what? Oh, no. So, what time do I gotta get here? Okay, it's like six in the morning now. Be quiet, it's only 12. Go away and play. Ugh. Okay. So. I'll be right back. I gotta wait for the sun to move in place. Okay, there we go. Starting to turn. I think. Okay, your ass better be out. Like no joke. It's only six twenty-three. What? So what? Get your ass out of bed. It's... All right, let's go some more time. Staring at the sky. It's actually a really nice shot right there. Just... You see why people love this game? Just because. See, you can't do this shit in, you know, Orcram Time, or Link to the Past. I don't know what that was over in the the corner over there, I guess. Whoa, shit! I forgot these things. Um, can barely see. There we go, there he is, there's the man himself. The modern-day Quasimodo. Although, I think there's problems because I can barely see the ground below me. Okay. Hey, Dompe. Hey, kid, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompe the Gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dompe the Gravekeeper's heart-pounding grave-digging tour. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you want me to dig here? Ten rupees for one hole. That could mean something else if you're sick-minded enough. Okay, I think there's ground here. I really can't see. Oh my god, it's like just looking into like the abyss. Well, let's, we'll try it. What, what do we got? Oh, we got some rupees. Okay. Let's try here. Got about 13 tries, so... Okay, there's nothing. Um... What, Navi? I'm trying to dig. What? Oh my god. I really can't see. Like, that's how bad this is. Hopefully this will light things up for a little bit. And it doesn't. Fantastic. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up, everyone. I'm gonna have to, uh... 
step in here. And... I think we have it this time. All right. Oh, okay, I can see. I can totally see now. All right. Ah, oh, man. Maybe I should keep it on the setting. Maybe I should keep it on this setting because I could see more. Anyways, now that you've got that figured out. Let's, um... Yeah, dig here. Damn it. Alright, well, come on. Got some more digging to do. try left and I will have spent a hundred rupees on this I hate you Dampa you fucking go rotten hole that was a waste of time I'm so mad I'm gonna throw that rock got 11 rupees I got one more chance let's do it all right Come on, let this be the lucky one. I hate you. I hate everything about this game. <sighs> anyway. I'm gonna go inside Dompey's hut, and I'm gonna leave a giant shit on his bed. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so believe it or not, people, I actually reloaded the save files, so I have all my rupees back, just so I can get the goddamn hard piece, and, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, I think what I was doing wrong was that, uh... Dompe actually has to be on the spot he's gonna dig, which doesn't make any sense. You know, you think he would do the spot in front of him, but I think he's at, he digs on the spot you're at, like he's currently on, so. With that new knowledge that, in mind, let's hope I get somewhere again. So let's see, he's like, he's on it now, okay, so let's. Yes, Dompe, yeah, okay. I, just skipping ahead. If I tap my buttons hard enough, it'll something will happen. There we go. Okay. Okay. I like spending more time here than I did in like the water temple. Like it's getting ridiculous. Huh. Imagine seeing this like walk towards you, like in the middle of the night. Dun-dun, 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 Nope, nothing here. Okay, let's try this one. Finally! Jeez. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Cost. Oh, you know what? Whatever. Let's we'll just get out of here. Before we do, let's get this. 
Look at that sick ass backflip. Oh my god, look, look, he's like stopped midair and Dompe's still moving. Watch, watch, watch. He's gonna. <laughs> he literally freezes. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. Alright. Anyways. I'm gonna end this episode off. I should have ended a long time ago. My life should have ended a long time ago, but. Um... Actually, you know what? Because I'm, I have slight. Not autism, but the other one. Um, ADD? Whatever. Um, I wanted even a hundred rupees. So, we're gonna go here, and then... Oh, god damn, I gotta play this again. Hold up. Fast forward. Oh wait. Oh here oh okay, I already did it cool. Okay, sweet. Don't have to wait for anything. All this time travel is making me wary. So we're gonna jump down this well. Cause nothing bad ever has happened by jumping down a well. Hey look, it's like the ring. Anybody remember that movie? No? Okay. Anyways, this is the bottom of the well, and it's gonna be the focal point of the next video. So, thank you guys for watching. You're welcome for cutting out all the pointless footage I just wasted and shot, and I'll see you guys next time.